Well, I got the Peterbilt filled this morning. Chuck just headed out with it. Filling the Freightliner now. We're running both combines just to get the trucks moving. But uh, we got, should be able to get this field done today. Then that field of corn on the other side of the semi there, get it done today too. Hopefully. This bottom here done, this field's done. Now we dump these two on trailer, you're going to be losing. Yeah, Chuck probably won't be back yet, so I'll probably have to take another one off. Three seventy four backs, and from what my yield monitor is telling me, ain't a bad piece of corn. Takes it a while to climb up there. <laughs> oh, hell, you got it pulled up here real straight. I've done this a time or two. <laughs> Raise your up, raise your head up. I can feel the dragon over there. Right in here, you're going to get some phenomenal results.
about filming that, the speed is steady all the way through. Uh -huh. Well, getting rained out. I got enough of an opera to finish filming the beat. I don't want to keep running the way it's raining, so ain't no sense in it. So I'm going to dump this, tarp the trailer, then get the hell out of Dodge. We will resume this tomorrow if possible. Depends on how much it rains, but I think we'll just call this one a wrap. We got some hellacious corn out here, so we're happy, happy, happy as Phil Robertson would say. So, back to picking corn today. It's Monday, we took yesterday off, didn't pick any grandpa. He did a few minor repairs, just to kind of keep things up in shape. I went ahead and did my schoolwork yesterday, get it out of the way, because the elevator was closed. We have the auger out, ready to go, but decided yesterday that's what we were gonna do. That way this week while the elevator's open, we can hit it hard. But November 1st is Friday, so we're trying to at least get done up here this week or at least almost get done up here. So we get done with this field here, we might get it done today, I don't know, but we're gonna go back over on the other side of the tree line and get the two pieces that we uh, didn't finish up. If they were a little wet, they ought to be dry enough by now, or at least be a little drier. So we'll get them tomorrow, then I believe we're gonna move up and take care of the other 30 acres we got up on Route E. Pearl Farm is what we call it. Well, we'll get it out of the way. Get that little 14 acres down the road from it right next to the bridge on the corner. Get it done, then we can head on home. Get home, I don't know. We're probably going to go to the McNay Farm. Get that corn out of the way. And while me and Grandpa do that, we'll probably send Chuck over to uh, Rick's right across the tree line have him start picking Rick's corn because it's on six rows. So I'm going to send him with the 21, 88, and the six row corn head and he can pick on that while we get the McNay farm out of the way. Then we can take care of Wyatt's corn. Luckily, everything except Rick's is on eight rows, so picking won't take too long. It just depends on how good the corn is and how much hauling we have to do. So, that's kind of our game plan, I guess you'd say. But if we can get done up here this week, that would kind of lighten our load tremendously. So once we get down home, it's easy going. Which up here ain't bad either. It's just, when you're closer to home, it makes you feel like you're almost done. So, we're probably going to end up hauling corn to the bin regardless because I have a feeling the elevator's going to fill up and Grandpa would like to put a little bit in the bin mainly just to kind of keep it until price goes up and we'll have some there if we need to grind a little feed so it's kind of our plan but at least uh, I think we'll get this done today I hope we will but we're going to try if we don't, we don't if we do, great Well, I'm in the 2388, broke a gathering chain on the 1083 corn head, so it's out right now, and the bearing in the uh, front sprocket that drives the gathering chain, it's wore out, so it was kind of a whole calamity deal, even though I didn't notice it until I was almost done with the pass and corn started gathering up on that row right there on the head. So when I lifted up, I looked over and I didn't see the gathering chain and it wasn't moving. I'm like, well, there's a problem. So I figured either something got under it, was holding it up, or it jumped off the sprocket. So parked that one. I'm running this one now, still picking. Grandpa was going to check it out. I don't know if we have a gathering chain in the service truck or not. I don't think we have any spare ones on us right now. 
might be one of the shops, but oh well, as long as one combine's still running, we're still getting something done. Plus, can't be run to right now anyway because that truck is full. Well, combine's full, trailer's full. Started that up so we can pump the air up. Waiting on Chuck to get back here to the Peterbilt. Way I can dump and keep cooking. The worst thing about running two combines and corn with only two semis when you get in good corn, can't keep up. Even last year, where a lot of our corn was <laughs> mediocre at best, trucks couldn't keep up very well. Luckily, we're close to the elevator, and it's this time where a lot of people are starting to put corn in the bin. A lot of your big operators are. Which is good for us because we can get through the elevator quick. So, guess I'll keep on waiting. Well, there's my truck. Didn't have to wait too awful long. almost got done all we got left is what is on that hill right there and we got this little bit down here I could get it done this evening but only got one truck empty and we got to go eat supper because my mom and dad are coming up to grandma and grandpa's wrap supper tonight other than that but we're gonna come here finish this tomorrow morning then move over to these two pieces over here that we did not shell get them picks then head up to the burl farm we ought to get this done and get those done tomorrow then should be able to get moved tomorrow evening or late tomorrow afternoon kind of open things up that way we can bring the cart and semis up there because we're gonna have to have the cart to bring the corn out of the bottom part of that field because you can't get a loaded semi out of them bottoms plus with the rain we had oh that would have been last on Friday, Thursday or Friday, Thursday night I think it was, it rained over an inch up here, so I guarantee the bottoms down there are a mud hole, at least not too much of a mud hole where we can't get a combine through there, but muddy enough to where a semi wouldn't even make it through there empty, but that's at least our rough plan. After we get the pearl farm done, then we're ready to head home, so we're getting her knocked out slowly but surely. Well, about got this field done. All I got is this and that pass there and the bottom's done. And then I got a few uh rows to pick off and up on top of the hill. Both won't take too long, they're pretty short rows. That ought to fill the semi and we may have a little overflow. Put that in the cart then I'll move back across the tree line over here and finish them two pieces that we left. Because the elevator is plenty busy today and those will take time to pick so we'll just worry about them. Grandpa told me when I dumped right before this he said, Chuck took the semi and he's two rows deep in the bullpen, so he's going to be a bit. We were there this morning because Grandpa went and got some of his checks for grain, and we went to the bank, and we were at the elevator. They were even in the bullpen then. It's, it's a busy day. I think everybody stopped home to the bend, it seems like. Cause I think everybody was home to the bend there for a little bit. Now everybody's home the elevator again. And we got trucks from up in Wayland coming in because they're full of corn. So we're gonna have more trucks there too. Kind of a pain for us down here because that's kind of our main elevator. We still got bungies and ADM, but we ain't hauling anything to ADM. And bungies is a good jump from up here. It is what it is. 
I guess we'll start holding the bed if we have to. We probably will end up putting that corn at home in the bed. Don't know, but we'll figure it out. Ran out of room in the truck, so the rest of it's going on the cart. What I got left will fill the cart, so. We got some pretty good amount of corn off this piece. About done with this farm. Got a few more acres of corn to pick, then we're gonna head on up to the pearl farm. <laughs> 